Welcome back to Design Smith. In this video, I wanna show you how to do an envelope distort meshing with text. So what I'm gonna do is grab the brush tool. So I'm just gonna switch from a fill to a stroke and we'll turn off our fill. And I'm just gonna draw like something just kind of, you know, like an amoeba shape. It can be nice and abstract. And we'll go in here and select this anchor point with our direct selection tool. And now use our direct selection tool, select over both of those and hit Command J, and that is gonna join that together. And you can swap this over to a fill, you don't have to, but it's something that I like to do, it just works a little bit better in my mind. And now let's put some text in here, why don't we do like Nickelodeon since it looks kinda like a slime splat, and what the heck, we'll use the Nickelodeon font. Now I'm not gonna resize the rest of the font, I'm not gonna get the kerning exactly right, this is just for the purpose of the video. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a copy of this over here, and the reason for that is because we're gonna to need to bring it back for a background color. Next thing we need to do is select this shape right here and we need to go up to Object, Arrange, and Bring to Front. The object that you're gonna be making the shape with needs to be at the front. So now all we have to do is select both of these and go over here to Object, Envelope Distort, and Make with Top Object. And so as you can see, the text is now kind of bending and distorting to that actual shape. And now we can select both of these. I'm gonna select this one more time to make it our key object. And then go over here to align and click on horizontal align center. And I'll click on vertical align center even though we don't have to because it's already on that same vertical axis. Now I'm gonna select the text layer and lock it real quick and then grab this. And what I wanna do is expand this in such a way that keeps all of our anchor points on the same path. So I'm gonna go up here to object, path, and offset path. And we'll just enlarge it probably to about three quarters of an inch, that looks good, and hit okay. And now we're gonna double click on our color picker. And I am such a nerd that I actually have the Nickelodeon hex value memorized. It's FF5800. Yes, I am a nerd. And then we'll just grab our original one right here, which is still black, use the eyedropper right there. And now we can select both of these and then just unite them together with our pathfinder. I'm gonna go ahead and hit unlock and we will unlock this right here. You can double click on this and you can go in and edit the text, which is pretty cool. Nick is kids, why don't we do that? You can also align it to the center and then we'll bring this back here and align it this way. And we wanna make this white. Now, if you want to, you can go back in here and edit the way that this shape is actually put together. So go ahead and click on it and then grab your direct selection tool by hitting A on your keyboard. And you can go in here and edit these individual paths. So if we've got some areas right here where it's a little bit harder to read, then you can just kind of go in and make these adjustments. So this is a really cool tool to use and you can do some awesome effects with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe to support the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.